in the all-white unis, Richmond in the road blues. And it's Reagan Richardson right away with a tough fadeaway. As we take a look at Richmond starting lineups brought to you by Capital One, all returned from last year. And right on cue, a made three by Addie Budnick. As they spread the floor at a high level, force the defense to spread, and it leads to open three-point opportunities. And on the other side for Duke, you look at all of Richmond's continuity, all five of their starters back from last season. For Duke, just two starters back. And they went 11-7 and seven in the ACC. And there's an interception by Ashlyn Jackson, taking it all the way to the cup. Jackson read that perfectly. Budnick with two. Budnick was rejected. And now Donovan on the run out. And it's back-to-back -back fast break points for the Duke Blue Devils. Guarding deep into the shot clock, not allowing Richmond to have any sort of open space or driving lanes. That's a three from Maggie Dugan, and that is what this team can do. Open look. Richardson off the mark. Brown the putback good. Fourth in the ACC. Meanwhile, Richmond really struggled giving up offensive rebounds. As Donovan sends it out of bounds. Hoping she wins today so she can hopefully make it on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Reagan taking it all the way, plus one. Defensive end for Duke. Comes down, absorbs the contact, still keeps her shoulder square to the basket, so the layup has a chance of going in. That's where experience playing together comes into hand. When you have the same group of five that have played so many minutes, you can weather really tough situations to see Townsend get the bucket to go. Townsend wow. slips it underneath and a backdoor cut by Hill in the reverse lane. Out, get a body on somebody, but here Townsend reads the defense off the hedge, boom. Threads the needle perfectly down low and he got a hard cut to the rim. Reagan Richardson gets the friendly roll. Great two-woman game there. Townsend pays it off with a little English off the window. Grace Townsend making things work down low for the Spiders. Very interesting storylines developing in both the Stores pod and the Columbus oh. pod. But the Richmond Spiders have come out shooting it hot. To go zone just to switch things up keep Duke off balance offensively staying smart and you had Duke get caught under the screen and on the step back Ashlyn Jackson lost it into the hands of Townsend and the senior guard wisely pulls it back for Budnick drops in an open three top of the key off the turnover, Richmond running in transition. Great decision by Townsend. She didn't have numbers to pull it back up. And boom, Budnick. Duke has to find the gaps in this zone, attack it. There you go, just like that. Emsbo, the graduate transfer coming over from Yale. And get open looks. Richardson, deep two. She has come out shooting it. Really well, four for five to start with nine points. She has a higher release point, so it's tough to contest. And she is so confident when she's in that mid-range. Budnick again, seeing the bottom of the cup, and Budnick with 12 to lead all scores. Richmond knocked down five threes. One, two, three, four, five for the Spiders. Put her defender on skates. These passes are crisper, and they are able to get everybody in a position to score. Reagan Richardson in her bag to start the game. 12 points. Ben Arsdale checking into the game for the first time, wearing number zero in blue. As Siobhan Ryan gets to the cup with ease. So you have room to get to the basket. Richardson Money. is just having a shooting practice in the first quarter. And she's so under control. Her wow. Dugan spins out of trouble, lays it all. I mean, she had a wide open lane off the runway to the sky. Six early points. 
Dugan is such a smart player, but changed her pace of play. Kennedy Brown stood straight up. Ben Arsdale almost had it picked by Mayer. Shuffle back to Dugan for three. Again. Maggie Dugan knocks it in. Budnick a three. Catch and shoot knocks it in. Seven triples in the first half for Richmond. Budnick making everybody pay. Stepping back. Duke has to find a way to get to the high post right here within this zone. It cracks things open and gives more room on the offensive end to operate just like that as Cable knocks it down. Those are unforced. The Spiders have to be cleaner. Attacking this zone, you have to hit the high post because it forces the defense to collapse around the ball. And picked off by Taina Mayer. To Cable, sent out of bounds by Katie Hill. Dugan, got it from downtown, yes sir. Getting an excellent performance from Maggie Dugan with 12 on four of eight. How do the Blue Devils get more people involved offensively? They have to recognize defenses quicker, give Richardson the ball right there in the high post. That's a great way to attack. And in all previous 25 appearances, they've won at least one game. Trailing here by seven early as Brown puts it in off the window. Jaden Donovan, wow. oh, yeah, scooting right around her defender and puts it home. Donovan with six. Not playing like a freshman at all, using her size and length to get Richmond all out of sorts defensively. And out to Richardson. Jackson ties the game at 37. The game for you, Ashland Jackson, benefiting off the paint touch. And how about... Townsend off the bounce, trying to slip. does with a hook shot. Making things work down low on the 6-5 Brown. Inside to Brown, rejected by Budnick. Looks like a calf raise. <laughs> Looks like me jumping. They go right back to Brown, and this time pays it off. Brown has that height advantage down low in the paint. Townsend, step through, lays it in with the right hand, scoops it off the window. There's so much teaching going on in the game, but when you talk to her, she talks about so many big life issues that you have to tackle every single day. So Dugan had a big first half, 12 points, sacked out of bounds by Okanawa. Aluchi Okanawa read that perfectly. Janet Donovan wanted it more. Okanawa sidesteps Dugan, lays it in. Doing a perfect job of sidestepping, finding the open path to the rim. 7-0 Duke run. And Townsend puts an end to that. Mayor off the screen. Jackson rims it down from distance. Mayor is facilitating at such a high level right now. But she's Largest lead of the game for Duke. Townsend on the backdoor cut, having an excellent game, 14 points. Board practically two on its way in, then Townsend off the back cut. Richmond. A great game it's been. Four point deficit for Richmond. Okanawa to Delaney Thomas on the cut. And now 23 points scored in the quarter. Townsend leads all Richmond scores with 14. Give her 16 on a beautiful feed by Maggie Dugan. And how about Grace Townsend continuously moving without the ball, getting to the paint. Richmond's made threes came in the first half. As they go inside to Budnick, and she's off the mark. Rebound tracked down by Donovan. Here comes Richardson. And another offensive rebound out to Jackson. That's a three. Townsend with 16 points. Fighting through the defensive mare. Give her 18 to lead all Spider scores. Reagan 
Townsend doing a fabulous job staying down low, backing down Mare. By the way, Townsend's 5'5", five, five, but she's so quick. And Pushing the pace here is Townsend. Wow. What a block. And Hill was fouled underneath. It's unbelievable with the timing here. Slows down a little bit to come over and block it. Boom. Nice and clean into the cheerleaders, too. Every day of the week. I wonder how many miles he's putting in. Brown doing a good job defensively, forcing Dugan away from the basket, so she's off balance. Akanawa, what a pass to Brown, rejected. Akanawa staying with it, lays it in. Alushi Akanawa has been second half there, having to work to try to get a paint touch. Richardson. No, Akanawa, yes, offensive board, up and under won't go, third opportunity, Brown a fourth try, puts it down. Offensive rebounds have been the Achilles heel for Richmond, Duke doing a great job creating so many second chance opportunities. Are you kidding me, Alucci Akanawa has to physically box out to create space and get the rebound. Butnick hits a three, the first of the second half for the Spiders. Second chance opportunity is at 5'10. She's playing like she's 6'10 right now. Rim unkind for Budnick. Donovan, without much pressure, goes right into the paint and banks it in. The final four minutes ticking down. Oh, wow. Javon Ryan. Donovan, the no-look pass. Open three. Richardson puts it in. Wide open three from Richardson. Kennedy Brown had four. Gets the basket. Speaking of the basket, one five blue jerseys around Kennedy Brown. Richardson is wide open. Has all day to set up. Shoulder squared, feet set, and let that fly. Get the iPad, the iPhone, the laptop, and your TV going. Oh, right there, you just named four devices. Well done. Oh, yeah. It's been that type of day. You have to try to get into passing lanes and be more aggressive here. And you definitely have to box out, find a way to keep Duke to one and done. Ashlyn Jackson. Rims in a corner three. That could be the dagger for Duke. Duke in a three. Puts it in, responding with a much-needed bucket. And now Dugan with 15. Richmond had the lead in the first half because they hit eight threes. This second half, only two threes for Richmond. What a year it's been for Kara Loss and her team picking up their 21st victory, coming into the season with eight freshmen and sophomores.